we go. Yeah, I have to try that out. I haven't, I haven't done that in a while, but this, yeah, this is really good. So we're both running over T ones over Kovac. Exactly. And I know you're going to start going through withdrawals because you're moving soon. I know I am. <laughs> so you're I, going to be using this morning, noon, and night until you move away. Exactly. I, I, I know I have been just because it's, because it's been the most stable thing I've got. And also just the amount of equipment I need for the cable modem is just ridiculous. But I'm, I'm watching you, and I'm about to go full screen. And I haven't had anybody on T1 in full screen mode yet. Ooh, I'll have to try it, too. Wow. This looks pretty cool. Wow, there you, we go. You, yeah. you, 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 you've gained weight. Yeah, I've gained a little bit of weight. Yeah, it's all the traveling you've been doing. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, that'll put the pounds on. But, I mean, we're both, just so everybody knows, we're, we're running basically... Um, you're on a PC or you're on a Mac right now? Mac. Okay. So if we were on a PC client, we could actually check the amount of speed that we're sending of how many bits per second in the client on site. There's, there's actually a way to do it in the Mac version, too. Is um, there? Yeah. Let's see, where is it? Oh, I have to ask he, you know, Scott Lohman or, or Peter Chotty how to do that. Yeah, he actually, uh, they actually, they actually uh, told me how to do it once, and I can't remember. But this is an example of a T1 versus cable modem. And we'll try cable modem a little later uh, yeah. to yeah. see, but the call quality is perfect. I mean, there's no flickering. There's no downsizing. No, no. this is just going great. This is absolutely killer. This is what I was going to do with Ken Camp over the weekend, but he was busy with his fifth wheel, and I was nursing a cold. Oh, well. Yeah. We couldn't get in sync. Bummer. But you're moving, so you're only moving 20 minutes away, but it's like moving to another time zone. Well, it, it is, in a sense, because I'm, because I'm going to be in Comcrap country, and I'm going to be in, um, I'm going to be in CenturyTel. Yeah. So, yeah, I might as well be moving, you know, halfway across the country. <laughs> Our, our pal Russell Shaw refers to him as Comcash because all they want is the money. <laughs> exactly. But this is amazing. So everybody, we're using site speed. Um, we're coming over COVAD T1s on both ends. So basically, what this is is it goes from your home or my home across to the frame, and then it drops right into the T1 backbone or the internet backbone, and you're on the internet. Exactly. I mean, it's it's. I know it's like very little. I was, I'm actually going to try and figure out what the ooh, what your phones is ringing. Well, uh, Skype. Oh, okay. So yeah, the, the, one of the problems about being on all these different systems at the same time is no one knows that you're in another call on another system. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, so I've got Gizmo, Skype, and SightSpeed running. And two or three other chat programs like Yahoo Messenger and AOL's Instant Messenger. Exactly. None of them know what I'm doing on the other one. Uh, that's a problem. That's How do a we solve that problem. Problem. Solve that problem? Someone needs to solve that problem. Yeah. Hey, have you uh, tried the uh, the MSN AOL integration with Gizmo Project? No, it's uh, it's only AOL and. Um, I couldn't get it to work. I couldn't log into my AOL account even though I was logging in correctly. Hmm. It worked for me, although it, I know it's on MSN. It shows all the uh, the names a little differently. No, yeah, well, everything's a little perverted. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, but it was um, it was all good. It was all good. Exactly. Now I want to. I want to. Wh actually, what's your IP address? I want to do a trace route to you just to see. Uh, what I have to look up my IP address. Hang on. So does everyone know how to look up their um, IP address if they don't know it? It's very simple. It's what is my IP dot com. Well, that's one way to do it. Uh, I'm at sixty nine dot three. Okay. Dot, well, actually, you know what I want to do? I'm gonna paste this in. I'm not going to, because you're recording this, I'm not going to have everybody know my IP address. Exactly. Yeah, just, just do it in chat. Yeah, I'm going to go into the, I'm going to go into the, the site speed chat mode, and um, there you go. Oh, okay. That's my IP address. Uh, let's see. 
you know, when Ken and I first started doing Ken Radio years ago, this would be like the kind of geeky stuff that we were doing because, wow, look what we can do. Exactly. And it was with like file transfers and chat. Now it's look what we can do with video. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know what's I don't know what's going on with the trace. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn off name resolution because that's what's taking so long. Let's see. I mean, I think we're like 40 milliseconds away from each other. That's not bad, huh? Exactly. How many hops? Three? Uh, more like 12. Oh, okay. Yeah, but how many, how many different um, either uh, data centers or domains? Uh, I turned off name resolution, so but I can tell by the IPs it is probably three or four. I said three. Thank you very much. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I guess it's, I'm actually getting more like 56 milliseconds, but that's that's still pretty good though. Anything under 100 milliseconds is okay. <laughs> Precisely. And we've got no latency. I mean, and you look, I have to say, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, you're going to miss this. As good as you look right now, you're going to miss. I know. You're going you're gonna to go back to the land of blips and bubbles. And exactly. Latency. Pack and loss. <laughs> I know. I know. And I'm crying. We're going to try a couple other ways to um, see how it looks. But the only one we can do this with is site speed, unfortunately. We, can't try, we can try a Skype to Skype video call. But we could do that. They, they don't have recorder call. That's a bummer, I know. And we could try Gizmo. We could record audio. That's sure we could. But we can't record audio with Skype. <sighs> Unless you use some third-party plugins. So it looks like the companies that are down here in California have got it all figured out that if you're going to record, you can do it. So anyway, I'm in... Del Mar, California. You're up in beautiful Washington State. Where you're, you're not in Bremerton. You're in what? Port well, Orchard? well, Port, or Port Orchard, yeah, which is Bremerton, Bremerton north, of north of it. Yeah. So uh, we'll wrap uh, up here we'll south, try south. connecting a different way. All right. Sounds good. All right, sounds good. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.